fiery horse of the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> an untamed west of yesteryear lives once again as the famous Lone Ranger urges his great horse Silver down the trail to new adventure. He has a stirring action drama for us now. So make way for those silver shot hoops and thrill to a story of the phantom figure of the plains. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver, old boy. There is up ahead. We're coming, Tonto. I am Silver. In the first scene of our Lone Ranger drama, we see two horsemen racing their mounts over a backcountry trail just north of the Rio Grande and east of El Paso. Weather beaten and disreputable, they carry the stamp of outlaws on their hard features. These parts are getting too civilized for us, Mike. They're always beefing about something. It ain't only me. It's the rest of the boys, too. I'm giving orders and you're taking them. But you got to admit that rustling don't pay no more. Too hard to get rid of the cattle afterwards. There's going to be a new stagecoach line from Paso Doble to Dalton. They'll carry gold. Hey, what about it? I said gold. Oh, hold up for me. The country's too open. Ain't no cover in the whole 30 miles. They start operating in a week. Hey, look at that creek we're coming to. Are you sure there's a ford? Must be. Well, let's try it out first. Uh, what are you afraid of? Quicksand? I don't take any chances. I don't have to. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 oh. What are you getting off for? Talking about quicksand, you got me nervous. Well? I'll try it out with a rock. Come on, come on. That sand gobbled up that rock like it was hungry. Yeah? Deep, too. Maybe if we go... How deep? What? The creek. About ten feet. Think a stage could get to the other side? Nah. Listen, Butch. You can start spending that gold from Paso Doble. What's the stage got to do with the creek? Plenty. The stage is going to take this road. I know. It follows the main road straight to Dalton. It won't after we fix up the signpost at the crossing. The signpost? That's what I said. It's a new route, and the drivers will be dependent on them a lot, especially at night. Yeah. What's more, will be on the night stage they carry the gold. Mike, I got to hand it to you. We'll be ready for them on the first run. Come on. The boys will be plenty glad to hear about this. Get up there. Get up. Get up. Get up. There was a great deal of activity in front of the express office in Paso Doble. The night stage was being made ready for its first run to Dalton. In the dark shadow of the building, the Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, were watching the preparations. There, Buck, now. Yes, Tonto, coming this way. Him drive stage? That's right. Him not crook now, huh? He never was a real crook, Kimosami. Only the victim of bad companions. He gave me his promise to go straight when we helped him out of that scrape in Sonora. I knew he'd keep his word. That good. Take the horses back away. I want to congratulate him on his new job. Ah. 
strange. Yeah. Hello, Buck. Gosh, mister, I never thought I'd see you again. I'm keeping my promise, though. Look, that's my stage. They gave me the job driving. I know, Buck. Congratulations. Did you have anything to do with it? Why do you ask? Well, I heard about the new line. That's why I headed over here. But nobody listened to me when I asked for a job. And then all of a sudden, it was different. The marshal stopped me on the street one day. He asked me a few questions, and then he took me over to the express agent. In five minutes, it was all settled. I'm glad. Have you been in town since I got here? Yes, Buck. I wanted you to have your chance. I thought so. I'll never be able to thank you enough. Just do your job and do it well. You don't have to worry. I'm going to be the best stagecoach driver in the Southwest. I'm sure of it. What's more, I'm going to get married and settle down. Well, look over yonder. You see that girl stepping into the stage? Yes. That's Betty Stevens. Oh, yes. Her father owns a general store in Dalton, doesn't he? That's right. She's been over here visiting her aunt. We're going to be married next week. Hey, Buck, come on. We're ready to start. Who's that man? Butch Larson. He's the guard. You know him? I believe I do. Come on! Right away! Well, goodbye, mister. The best of luck. I may see you in Dalton. <laughs> Be right with you, Butch. Are you comfortable, Betty? I'm fine. You'll be in Dalton before you know it. Uh, give me a hand up, Butch. Sure. Go, stow it away. We're all set. Right. Get up. Get up there. Come on. Get up. An hour after the stage had started its journey, Black Mike and his gang of outlaws were lying in ambush near the quicksand ford at Salter's Creek. (laughs) What are you laughing about? A butch getting a job as guard on the stage. There ain't a chance of things going wrong now. We got the signpost changed all right. Yeah. We'll see the stage any minute. What do we do after butch knocks the driver out and stops him? I told you once. You and a couple men ride down there. Get the passengers out and take them into Dalton. Then report to the sheriff. And you and the boys unload the gold, cut the horses loose, and drive the stage into the creek. That's it. The stage will be underwater. It'll sink into quicksand. And the express company will figure the gold went with it. It's a slick scheme. Hey, Mike. The stage is coming down the road. Over the hill, men. Get your horses out of sight. You stay here, Jake. Yeah. Don't treat any of the passengers rough. They gotta think you're trying to help them. I get you, boss. Out of sight. Get away before the stage gets here. Get up. Don't look familiar. Sure it does. Can't fool me about this country. I think we took the wrong turn back at the fork. The arrow was pointing this way. I'm going to pull up. Not yet. We're doing Dalton in an hour. Going to be late on your first run? It might be later if we keep going. There's a creek up ahead. That proves we're right. That proves we're wrong. There ain't no creek on the main road. Oh, here we go, friends. I got you covered. What's the idea? I'll show you. Why, you dirty double cross. <laughs> That settles him. Oh, 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 oh. What's the matter? The bridge is out. Hey, driver, the bridge is out. I can see that. Is it too deep to get through? Yeah, quicksand bottom besides. Any passengers inside? Yeah, two, a man and a girl. Can you give them a lift into town? Sure thing. Get them passengers out, boys. Everything's set. Good. How about the driver? Had to knock him out. He ain't come to yet. Here, I'll lift him on your horse. No. Mike and the rest of the gang will be along in a minute. You're supposed to wait for him here. The driver goes back to camp. Buck, where are you? Maybe the girl will cause trouble. Not for long. No rough stuff. I got my orders. I gotta hurry, though. See you later. Buck! He's all right, ma'am. He just don't want to leave the stage. We're gonna take you into the <laughs> That same night, the Lone Ranger and Tonto were riding along the main road to Dalton. Suddenly, the masked man reined in his great white horse. Oh, oh, Silver! Oh, 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 boy. Oh, oh, Why? Why will you stop here? That signpost. The arrow points along the other road. Oh, that's wrong. I know it. We'd better investigate. Come on, Get Silver! Get him up, white fellow. This road goes south. I'm wondering if Buck could have taken it by mistake. Quick, sand, quick, one mile. No bridge. It's less than a mile. 
The moon's out now. We'll be able to see it at the top of the next rise. You know, my fella. I suspect that the guard on the stage is an outlaw, Tano. He may have had a partner who changed the signpost. Ah. It's Buck's first run. He doesn't know the country very well. Maybe him and trouble. I'm afraid so. Oh, 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 so oh, oh. There's the stage. Ah. Many men there. What can them do? They seem to be unloading something. The gold, perhaps. We help them? Our help isn't wanted. Look, they're unhitching the horses and pushing the stage into the stream. That's right. And then they're going to head south. I'm sure of it. Butch and those men are outlaws. I'll Get see up, wait there. The stage is almost underwater. Me, see him. We must get it out somehow. Ride, Paddle. Every minute counts. Eight horses run away. Yes, we might overtake them, but there's more important work to be done here. Go, oh, Silver. Oh, 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 oh. We must make sure the gold has been stolen. Uh, not safe. Go out there. It isn't far from shore. I might be able to jump it. Oh, this ground soft. I have to make sure. No, me climb tree. Tree? Oh, I see. You can work your way out on that limb and drop onto the coach. It's almost directly underneath. Here, I'll give you a lift up. Uh, climb up. Uh, you'll find the gold in the baggage compartment. Uh, me no. Try that limb. Make sure that it'll hold your weight. Uh, it, it's strong. That's good. Take it easy, Kimosabe. Box open. Can you see if the gold's gone? Mm, not, not yet. Easy. Box empty. That's all we need to know. Me drop on coach? No, come back. There's work to be done. We follow outlaw? Not yet. If that stage show sinks into the quicksand, we can never prove the theft. It's sinking deeper every minute. Uh, what what we do? Silver has never failed us yet, Tonto. I have a plan. Listen. It was an hour later when the three outlaws, headed by Jake, rode into Dalton with Betty and the other passenger from the coach. They headed straight for the sheriff's home. I got a report what's happened to the stage. Ain't nothing happened to it. It just can't get through. Well, there's gold on board. And there's outlaws riding the range. Outlaws? But here tell there is. Then Buck may be in danger. Tell the sheriff to hurry. The sheriff will hurry all right when I get through talking to him. Who's there? Jake Winters. Boy, what do you want this time of night? I'm just a call hand, Sheriff. But I want to report a robbery. What's that? Leastways, it may be a robbery. Me and my two buddies were riding along by Salters Creek, and we saw the stagecoach from Paso Doble was drawn up by the side of the road. What was the stage doing near Salters Creek? I guess the driver and the guard had a scheme to steal the gold on board. Steal the gold? Yeah. We rode up and asked what was the matter, but both of them pulled guns on us. They told us to take the passengers into town and keep our mouths shut. The guard and the driver, huh? That's right. We did like we was told, but I looked back as we were riding toward the shallows, and they were driving the stage into the creek. Trying to afford it. Well, maybe. I figured different. The driver's name was Buck. I heard Buck them call... Buck Newton. That reform gunman the express company hired. I told Higgins it was a mistake, and this proves it. Yeah. Thanks, Zeke. I'm going to round up a posse and get Buck Newton dead or alive. <laughs> The curtain falls on the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. You will recall that in the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger drama, a band of outlaws thought of a scheme to steal the gold carried over the new stage route to Dalton. Signposts were changed, leading the stage into the quicksands of Salter's Creek. Three of the outlaws posed as cowboys and took the passengers on to Dalton. The sheriff received word that the stage had been wrecked and organized a posse to ride out after the outlaws. 
Our next scene opens in the outlaw's camp. The stage driver has been bound and gagged and placed near the campfire. Mike, the leader of the band is speaking. Any of you men still want a new boss? Not us, Mike. That gold sure looks good. We got to hand it to you. Hey, what I'm thinking is this. We ought to keep right on moving till we hit the border. You got to wait for Jake. Maybe when he shows up, he'll have some good news for us. Maybe we can stay here. Ain't no sense in that, Mike. I say as we wait. Uh, here's Jake now. Hey, steady, boy. Did you talk with the sheriff? Just like you told me to. Did he believe you? Sure did. He organized a posse, rode back the creek. The stage had sunk into the quicksand just like we figured. There wasn't ev- any evidence against anybody. That make you feel any better, Butch? You could see the stage underwater, couldn't you? Not a trace. Yeah, funny it should go down so fast. Tell him the rest of it, Jake. You mean about Buck? Yeah. Well, I told the sheriff that Buck had driven us away from the stage at the point of a gun and then run it into Crick. At first, he took my word for it that Buck was a crook. But he got thinking on the way to Salter's, and he allowed that maybe Buck was only trying to ford. <laughs> I gave him an argument at first, then I allowed that maybe he was right. Maybe. Yeah. The sheriff's plumb convinced the two men couldn't have made off with all that gold by themselves. He figures it sunk down the quicksand with a coach. There ain't no other way to look at it. But if anybody starts getting suspicious, Buck's the one who'll get the blame. And Buck ain't going to show up in Dalton for a long, long time. <laughs> we don't have to worry about nothing. Maybe we can make a little more money if we stick around here. What do you mean? They'll be sending another coach from Paso Dobley tomorrow night. You can't pull the same trick twice, Mike. Why not? Well, for one thing, the driver won't take the wrong turn. He'll be warned about it. Listen, we'll do it a little different. What if we stop the coach before it gets to the crossroads? Yeah? We make the guard and driver prisoners just like we did to Buck and you. Then two of the boys drive the coach down the creek and into the quicksand. Now, wait a minute. You I... wait. You got load the gold before when the coach sinks, there ain't no evidence. There ain't nothing to see. But if it happens twice, the sheriff will know there's something wrong. He'll start hunting for Buck. <laughs> but he won't find him. How'd you like a trip to Mexico, Buck? Let's get rid of him right now. No, Jake. He's gonna do a little job for us. It's this way. Just in case somebody should see us hold up the stage, Buck's gonna be out in front. And he won't be wearing a mask. <laughs> The morning following our last scene, a group of men were standing in front of the sheriff's office in Dalton. Betty Stevens pushed her way through the crowd. Let me see this. I've got to see the sheriff. Sheriff, look what's coming down the road. It's, it's a covered wagon. Covered wagon? Nothing. That's a stage. The day coach isn't due from Paso Adobe till this afternoon. It's the night coach. The one that got stuck in the quicksand. Buck got it out. Maybe he's driving it. There's two men in the box. One of them's an engine. And the other man is mad. Don't shoot. Stand out in the center of the road, men. We got to stop him. Man, he's drawn me. He's planning to stop anything. Out in the name of the law. Hey, boys, get up there. Hey, hey. What time are you getting, sir? Who are you? That doesn't matter. That sending this coach over to you is evidence. Only outlaws wear masks. If you'll investigate the baggage compartment at the rear, you'll find that it's been broken open. That's right, Sheriff. Ain't nothing in it at all. And the gold was stolen after all. Yes, what have you done with it? The gold was gone when my friend and I found the coach in the quicksand. You're an outlaw, and I'm holding you for the robbery. You'd better listen to me first. Why should I come to you if I were guilty of a crime? I don't know about that. We're going to lock you up and ask questions afterwards. You won't keep us locked up for long. Oh, hold there. Oh, 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 oh. It's Marty Sheridan, the marshal from Possible. You're just in time, marshal. What's going on here? We just caught the outlaw that stole the gold last You're night. You're wrong. He just come driving up in the coach, and the gold is gone. The gold belonged to the United States government. The United States government's taking charge of the case. Let go of that man. You're interfering with justice. Oh, no, I ain't. I've already had a talk with him. You wouldn't be so concerned up it if he was riding his own horse, Sheriff. We ain't going to lock him up. We're going to take orders from him. Start talking, stranger. <laughs> The Lone Ranger, backed by the authority of the United States Marshal, made plans for the capture of the outlaws. The sheriff and his posse followed the masked man's orders. That night, they rode down the stage trail with the Lone Ranger in the lead. Put your 
about time you told us where we're going, stranger. He's the one in command, Sheriff. Ain't no harm in asking where we're headed. We're heading for the crossroads. You sure the outlaws are going to hold up the stage there? Yes. And all you have to do is point them out to me and I'll do the rest. We'll only watch the hold up, Sheriff. What's that? There'll be plenty of time to attack later when we get all the evidence. What's more, we got to get back that first ship and the gold. They won't be carrying it with them. Get up, get up there, Pete, get up there. Penny, what are you doing here? You didn't think I'd stay at home and Buck was in danger, did you? This ain't no woman's work. It won't do no good to tell me to go back, Sheriff. I'm riding with you. Tell your men to pull up. We can watch the crossroads from this hill. Go, Silver. Oh, 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 there they are, hiding in that gully. It's a good thing there's a full moon. We can see everything. They're wearing masks. One of them isn't. Oh. Quiet, Betty. Ain't that the stage coming down the road? Sure it is. The outlaw's got it spotted, too. See? They're stepping out in the road. That ain't the new stage. No. I thought your Indian friend drove it back to Paso Doble so it could make the night run. I had a better idea, Marshal. It's Buck Newton out in front of the outlaws. Sure looks like him. Can't be. Ain't no doubt about it. This is all the evidence we need. Buck is not an outlaw. I can't hide, ain't I? Maybe we made a mistake about Buck, stranger. No, Marshal. Man! Don't give any orders yet, Sheriff. Why not? They strapped the coach. They're tying the driver and the guard. They're unloading the gold from the back. We can't stand by and watch a hold up. You can't accuse an innocent man either. Look closer. Look at that man standing behind Buck. He has him covered. It's true. He's a prisoner. I ain't so sure. You will be. They're driving the stage down the creek road. That's Buck who's got the rain. We've seen all we want to see here. Tell your men to follow me. And let them outlaws escape. There's no time to lose now, Sheriff. Follow me. I'll kill You dirty... Don't get mad, boy. I ain't gonna kill these horses. I ain't gonna drive them into that quicksand. Maybe you're hankin' to get killed yourself. I heard you talking last night. You're gonna kill me before you start for the border anyway. Whoa there, whoa, whoa, whoa there. What's the idea? Whoa there. Keep him covered, boss. I gotta take the reins. Get up there. Get up. Get up there. He heard us talking. I'll finish him off now. No, you don't. I'm sitting too close for comfort. Go on, shoot. We don't want to leave him lying near Dalton either. Somebody might find him and follow our trail. We won't be able to travel fast with all that gold. All right. We'll stand up ahead in front of the creek. It's a wagon. It's my stage. They pulled it out. I can't stop. The brake. It don't work. We're going to crash. Pull over to the side. Too late. I'm going to jump. Jake, watch Buck over there. Don't let him get away. Get on a horse and make tracks for camp. Right. Are you hurt, Roach? Are you hurt? Uh, no, my leg. I can't stand up. Uh, my horse. Uh, hang on. Uh, get up there. Get up there. That stage. The sheriff and his men must have raged it today. It ain't possible. Uh, we saw it, didn't we? Maybe they followed our trail to camp. We shouldn't have left the gold there. Yeah, we couldn't take it with us. Back to camp, men. And don't spare the horse. Nobody been here yet. We know better, but when we get to dig up the gold. Who? Oh, oh boy. Oh. Oh. What do we do now, boss? I buck up to a tree. It'd save time if we took care of him right away. And yeah, the gold comes first. Dig it up. Mm, it's safe, all right. They wouldn't have bothered filling up the hole. Yeah. Light a fire so we can see better. Hey! Bring Buck over here. Yeah. Who's that shooting? It came from the woods. Another one. That came from the south. Look on me. Straight into a trap, Mike. Put up your hands! Just surrender! Nobody's gonna catch me without a fight! You ain't got a chance, Mike. I know that boy. I'll take care of you before I. Oh, my arm! Good shooting, stranger! We ain't got a chance, boss. They got us surrounded. They can see us and we can't see them. We got to surrender. Don't shoot anymore! You yellow rats! I'm gonna fight it out! Not with that arm. Come on, mister. They're all reaching for the sky. There he 
your men, Sheriff. You'll find the gold over by that tree where they've started to dig. We might never have located it if we hadn't followed your directions. I got a hand it to you, stranger. Fixing the brakes and the coach made him crash and head back for camp in a hurry, huh? And round him up, men. Take our suit and iron squares, Jeff. Thanks, on, mister. I figured I was on my way to the happy hunting ground. Another few minutes and I guess We'd I acted any sooner, Buck. You might have been arrested as an outlaw. What's that? We were watching that hold up at the crossroads. It sure looked bad. Mike had a gun sticking in my ribs every minute, Marshal. You're in the clear now. Of course, a lot of it was my fault. I never should have been fooled by that sign pointing the wrong way. Well, I guess I won't be driving any more stages in this part of the country. Think you'll lose your job, eh? Can't miss. Think again, son. After tonight, you might even get a raise. A raise? Mm Mm-hmm. As a sort of wedding present. Oh, fuck you, see. Oh, sure I am, honey. And did you hear what the marshal was saying? Maybe I'll get a raise from the express company as a wedding present. We owe it all to that mess, man. That's right. I want to invite him to... Hey, he's leaving. Hold on now. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.